the Cold War and the birth of the internet. In the 1960s, the US was in the Cold War, a long, tense conflict with the Soviet Union. America had a big fear. What if an enemy attack wiped out their communication system? At the time, phone lines were simple. If you cut the wires, the call would end immediately. If someone bombed a major telephone center, entire cities could lose the ability to talk to each other. The US needed something stronger, a system that could survive an attack. Scientists came up with a new idea, a network that had no center. Instead of sending messages in one straight line, messages would be broken into small pieces and take different routes to their destination. Even if part of the network was destroyed, the messages could still find their way through. This was called ARPANET, the very first version of the internet. It was slow, only a few computers could use it, and there were no websites or videos. But it proved one thing, computers could communicate across long distances. But there was still a problem. Every computer spoke a different language, so they couldn't connect easily. In 1983, scientists created TCP slash IP, a universal system that allowed all computers to talk to each other, no matter what. Now, computers weren't just sending simple messages. People wanted to share information, ideas and knowledge instantly, but there was no easy way to do it. That's when one scientist changed everything. Chapter 3 The Birth of the World Wide Web